CEO of You're the Book Press and Editor-in-Chief of Self Pub Magazine. I am psyched to be here in the studio today with artist and author Richard Chandler Hoff. Dick, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Demi. So excited to have you here. Tell us a little bit about your book, Inventing History. Well, my book is about my artwork. I'm a visual artist and I wrote this book because I thought people need to know more about what I do and why I do it. Uh, more than you can just uh, realize from looking at the work in a gallery situation. And a lot of people have also said to me, we love your work, we just can't afford it. And so now I have a comeback, which is, okay, how about <laughs> buying my book? It's only $9.99. Steve Pettis, tell us a little bit about the kind of work we would see inside. You're going to see, um, to be specific, imaginative realism. And what that is, is realism... Uh, in terms of identifiable subject matter, but completely non-existent subject matter. It, it, it begins in my creative inner self and is manifested through research in which many photographs are put together to create a piece that's plausible, but yet it never really happened. So I remember seeing one piece that was a train coming into town. Um, Tell us about how you might research to, to find that image, to, to create something that didn't exist. Well, it actually started off with a great photograph of the train itself. Um, I loved it. I loved the style of it. And I thought, how can I use this train uh, in a scene um, where it, it, it justifies its being there? And I thought, well, what better than a station? So the train is actually in the station and it's it's uh, venting its steam and there are various characters on the platform ready to board the plane once uh, the train once <laughs> the train once yep. they're given the go ahead but th what happens is you get this beautiful train and then you get to examine these various characters including the conductors that are checking their watches and so forth and and the uniforms and the clothing that the people in your pictures are wearing seem so realistic, so part of that era. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I look for what seems very realistic to that era and very natural. Uh, I avoid uh, playing the cheap card, which would be the nostalgia kick. Uh, I go for more of a, an ordinary thing, uh, event that could have happened in any town at any time, not an extraordinary event, which would um, connote, um, you know, nostalgia, that once in a lifetime. That once in a lifetime yeah. extraordinary event. Um, a lot of the events that I portray are events that probably no one would think twice about or remark upon, but you, the viewer, are privy over the shoulder of the, the, the artist to this scene. Hmm. I remember the first time seeing your piece and being struck by, oh, my grandmother rode a train just like that, or uh, I see a scene at the beach, and I think, oh, that... You know, that reminds me of so-and-so from my past. I bet you must hear that all the time. I do, and it, well, maybe not enough, actually. <laughs> Be, uh, I've got to introduce you to the right people. <laughs> <laughs> um, my greatest triumph that I believe in is the connection between myself and the viewer or the gallery attendee. When a person comes up to me and says, I remember walking down a street in a town just like that and you know it was a, a, a hazy day there it was hot and humid and your drawing portrays that that dense feeling of uh, the humidity in the air uh, I feel that we've really connected we've we've communicated and it's a, that's a very difficult thing to achieve also I've had older people who have lived through the 40s come up to me and say how did you do that? You, you've you never lived through the 40s. You were too young, but your drawings really nail it. And I say to them, well, that's great because, you know, we're, we're, we're flying blind here in a way, but, um, you know, we've, there again, I've made that connection. Thanks. Is there anywhere local where our viewers could stop and pick up a copy of your book? Yes, there is. Uh, they can... Uh, Purchase my books at the Pennsylvania Arts Experience, which is in the Market View Arts Center, 
which is right across the way from the Philadelphia entrance of the Central Market in Super. downtown York. Great, and can they also get a copy by ordering with you directly? Yes, they can. They can email me and I'll be happy to uh, send them a copy. Stupendous. We'll put that address up for everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Demi.